Day number 33. This is the crowdsource funding project of Wild Orchid Project on Indiegogo. When I was just a boy, uh, my father's best friend, whom I called my uncle, he had a, a son that was a few years older than me. I didn't call him my cousin, but I really looked up to this guy. His name was Ron. And um, Ron was uh, quite an influence on me. He he was an excellent skier. Later he became my coach, but he, he made the Canadian national ski team and he always inspired me. Uh, he, and when when he was uh, went to college, he became a forestry engineer. And I remember how hard he struggled and how tough it was. Uh, then years later, when I was in my early 20s, I planted trees for three seasons. I was a tree planter. And on one job, which was really particularly difficult, it was in a region of British Columbia called the Shoe Swaps. Uh, we, we, we tackled a huge job, uh, some really large clear cuts we replanted. And as it turned out, Ron was the, uh, he was the supervisor, he was the steward, the forest steward for the forestry department. And I got to see firsthand how hard he worked and what his career was all about in forestry management. And it's still really, I, I don't understand a lot of what uh, they study in, in that, he went to University of British Columbia. But I have a great deal of respect for the people that work in the forest. And I'm really pleased and very happy to be working on this project to help share what is a forest code. I mean, I, I've studied this uh, recently myself again, and there's a lot of moving parts to this because uh, it, sustainability is a relatively new term, and modern day logging or forestry, it is all about trying to be sustainable and trying to reduce the risk. And, and these well-educated people, they are the front lines. Uh, but there's a big gap between their understanding and their um, procedures and codes and then the man on the ground that needs that tree to feed his family. So one of the places that Wild Orchid Project is uh, occupying here in a, in a really important niche that we're filling is we're translating into simple common language the forest code and, and uh, also the idea of sustainable development. What is that? Uh, I mentioned in an earlier blog post that Brazil has its own Floresta Codágico, its own forest code. So it's really quite an important thing if you want to pursue anything to do with sustainable forestry, understand today what the meaning of that is and also in practice how does that translate and and this is a is such an important thing so many people need to understand what is sustainable forestry management and I wrote about it yesterday I'm studying and I'm going to continue sharing bits and pieces uh, and information to try and awaken people and and trying to put it into practice on the ground here in Brazil because information is power and if we're ever to turn around this uh, real problem of deforestation that we're suffering right now, we need to use the information as tools and weapons to share it more broadly with, so that it reaches the people who are actually cutting the trees down. And it's not their fault, by the way. We always have to remember that. We can't be militant about this. We need to be patient and we need to be strategic. And that's exactly what the Wild Orchid Project is, very strategic. However, we're not patient, but we are very strategic with information.